Hey guys, it's me Dave back with another Robo Room Quick Guide. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your Raspberry Pi to send a tweet. I use this in my project for tweeting the temperature and humidity of my Pepper Grow Room. Pretty simple. We'll jump right into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your Pi is to the state at which it has Raspberry on it. It's updated and it's upgraded. As a quick guide on that, I'll put the link in the description. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to run, want to run sudo apt-get install python setup tools. It will ask you if you want to continue a little bit of a verification uh, down there in the bottom so you're going to want to click yes next we're going to install sudo easy install pip this is going to be used to help install twython which is the twitter application for the raspberry pi will allow you to tweet uh, you'll obviously want to have your Twitter account set up, and then uh, we're going to need to get a couple of API keys from that account uh, once we get into the actual program. Once that's done, we're going to do sudo, and we're going to use pip to install Twython. Once Twython is installed, now we just need to create the program that's going to do the tweeting as well as grab the consumer key, consumer secret, access key, and access secret from our Twitter account. But let's jump into making the application first. So we're going to do nano tweet.py. And once we're in there, we're going to import sys from Twython, import capital T, Twython, it's a hard word to say. And then from there, we're going to do a couple of variables, consumer key equals, and just leave empty um, parentheses there, consumer secret equals access key and access secret from there we're gonna do API equals twython and then we're gonna use all of the keys that we are going to grab from Twitter Make sure you spell those all correctly because if you don't, you're going to have some runtime errors. And lastly, inside of this program, we're going to do API update status. Open break, open parentheses. Status equals. And we can either put. Uh, an actual statement in there to update it from here or we can do a sys.argv square bracket one and what this will do is it will grab the next thing that we type after running the program and use that as the uh, the update but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a hello world there and close that off now let's jump into Twitter and get the information that we need uh, the from the consumer key and the access keys. To get the keys that we need, you're going to want to open up apps.twitter.com and log in with the Twitter account that you're going to be using. You're going to go to create a new app, name it, give it a brief description, uh, put any website in here you want. We'll just put google.com. If you have a website, you can put that in there. Uh, you don't need a callback URL. Of course, agree to the developer agreement. Oh, we need a valid URL.
Once we're in here, we're going to go to the keys and access token section. This is going to be the consumer uh, key, consumer secret, and then down here, you'll want to create access tokens. And then you'll have your, your token key and your token secret. So you're going to want to copy these and paste them into your program. So consumer key. Consumer secret. And these are large, so you do want to copy and paste them. You don't want to try and type them out. Access token, and access secret. And that's all you have to do. Let's exit out of this, we'll save that, and we will run tweet.python. See if we have any runtime errors. Nope, and it looks like it went through, so we'll jump over to Twitter. Go to my test account, and you'll see Hello World was updated from my Raspberry Pi. So hopefully this was helpful to you. If you liked it, check out my channel for some more quick guides as well as some other tutorials and videos. Leave a comment, leave a like, and like always, good luck guys, and have fun.